A game room bus, nothing new. There are dozens every year, but now a state agency is hoping to cash in on the state gambling revenues with a proposed casino in West Oahu. As Rick Daysog reports, the odds are not in their favor. DHHL leaders want to build a standalone casino resort somewhere on its land in Kapolei or Kailailoa. But critics say the social costs outweigh any economic benefits. First of all, it encourages um, a gambling addiction. Um, it also is known to encourage organized crime. I just don't think, uh, uh, I, I don't think it's a good idea to put it in the midst of, of people who don't have the money to gamble. And, uh, you know, that, that's just, that's just wrong. Hawaii is one of only two states that don't allow any form of gambling. So the DHHL has drafted legislation to make its plan legal. Uh, their proposal uh, brings up a lot of legal questions uh, at the state level and even the federal level, given, given the fact that uh, Native Hawaiians have still not received federal recognition like Native Americans. Area Senator Mike Gabbard opposes the plan for many reasons. Gambling is well outside DHHL's mission uh, to provide housing for Native Hawaiians, which I feel strongly that that should continue to be their focus. Additionally, as far as I know, DHHL doesn't have expertise in the gambling arena. Even before the pandemic, the Department of Hawaiian Homeland says the state wasn't providing it with enough funding to fulfill its mission. It hopes that legalizing gambling will help it build more homes for Hawaiians. There are about 28,000 Hawaiians on the wait list for a homestead. The DHHL says at the state's current funding levels, it would take another 100 years to meet the needs of its beneficiaries. The bill still needs to be approved by the Hawaiian Homes Commission next week before it can be introduced to the legislature. Rick Desog, Hawaii News Now.